Well, from the time of this video, it's expected that five-term Republican Congressman Duncan Hunter will be resigning his seat within weeks, if not days. This stemming from him pleading guilty to one count of campaign finance fraud. Now, he was accused and arranged on 60 counts recently, and the story goes back about three years where he had blamed his wife to some degree about handling the finances for his campaign, but he put more of the onus on what he called the deep state that is Washington bureaucracy in wanting to oust him from the start. Now, that's all well and fine, except for now he actually admits wrongdoing, at least in part. And what I'm trying to get across here from a crisis PR standpoint is a lesson learned for business owners and executives. If you or your organization are being accused of something, whether it's sexual harassment, um, faulty products, wrongdoing on some level, internal or external, and you want to go out by vehemently and annually denying any and all of the allegations, fine. But do it with some degree of caution because if it comes about later on, that some element of truth came about from the accusations and now you've got to backpedal a little bit, your credibility is completely shot. And why I say it's completely shot is because you've taken such a strong stand that all the other side has to do is come up with some modicum of truth about some minor detail in the whole storyline and you're the one that is now backpedaling. So be careful when you do that. I'm not suggesting that it's not an option for you, but I am suggesting that you understand, like Duncan Hunter now does, that when you take such a strong stance, there is truly no going back.